Hi students, today I am going to start with the chapter of polynomial. So let start with the introduction first. Then first we will see which are called the polynomials. For example, here 2x plus 5 is taken. For example, here 2x plus 5. Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is a polynomial. Again, you will write the second example 3x square plus 5x plus 4. Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is a polynomial. Again, you will write the next example is 3x cube plus 3x cube plus 4x square plus 5x plus 8. Is this a polynomial? Yes, this is also called a polynomial. The next example I will take here. 1 by x plus 5. So, is this a polynomial? polynomial? No. Because this x will be transferred upper side. This x will be transferred upper side. You will get here minus 1. Because here x power is 1 and this will be transferred upper side. Then you will get the power is minus 1 and this plus 5 then it is not a polynomial because its power is negative. Because its power is negative. Then again you will see the next example 3 root x plus 5. Next example is what? 3 root x plus 5. Then is this a polynomial? No, it is also not a polynomial. Why it is not a polynomial? Because this x power is what? 1 half. And 1 half is what? A fraction. Then the power is a fraction. Then it is not a polynomial. Then in your syllabus, linear polynomial is given, quadratic polynomial is given and cubic polynomial is given. Then let's See, the first definition of linear polynomial. Then first is linear polynomial. What is the definition of linear polynomial? Here, a degree of a polynomial is 1, then it is called a linear polynomial. Its general form is what? Ax plus b. Its general form is what? Ax plus b. Here, x power is what? 1. Here, x is a variable. Here, x is a variable. And b is a constant term. And b is a constant term. x is called a variable. And b is called a constant term. Constant term. Here, you will write the same example that is 2x plus 5, 3x plus 4. They are also called a linear polynomial. They are also called a linear polynomial. Why they are called a linear polynomial? Because its power is 1. Because its power is 1. Then, what is the second definition? Second definition is quadratic polynomial. Second definition is quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. Means a degree of polynomial is 2. Then it is called a quadratic polynomial. Then its general form is what? Ax square plus bx plus c. Where a, b, c are real numbers and a is 
is not equal to 0. What is the general form of quadratic equation? Ax square plus Bx plus C equal to 0 where A, B, C are real numbers and A is not equal to 0. Then you will write here 2y square plus y plus 4. It is also a quadratic, equation, a quadratic polynomial. 3a square plus 4s plus 5. This is also called a quadratic polynomial. Then again you will see the cubic polynomial. Then the third definition is cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial means a degree of a polynomial is 3. A degree of a polynomial is 3. Then it is called a cubic polynomial. Then it is called a cubic polynomial. In general form is what? Ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. Where? A comma B comma C comma D are real numbers are real numbers and A is not equal to 0 and A is not equal to 0 <coughs> means in polynomial 1 degree is present, 2 degree is present, 3 degree is present, 4 degree is present and so on and so on. But your syllabus only 1 degree, 2 degree and 3 degree polynomial, 3 degree polynomial is given. Then let us start the formulas. Then first you will write the linear polynomial. Its general form is what? Ax plus b equal to 0. Then you will write here Ax equal to minus b. Then x equal to what? Minus b bar a. x is what? Minus b bar a. Linear polynomial Ax plus b equal to 0. Then Ax equal to minus b then x equal to minus b by a. You will compare to this general form then you will get its relation is minus constant term. This is called a constant term. This is called a constant term. Because here variable is not present. Because here variable is not present then this is called a constant term. Divided by here a. A means what? Coefficient of x. A means what? Coefficient of x. Agar aapko exam e pucha jata hai ki write its relationship. Agar aapko pucha jata hai exam e ki write its relationship. Then you will write x equal to minus b by equal to minus constant term divided by coefficient of x. यानी कि अगर आपको कोई भी एग्जांपल जो दिया है वो एग्जांपल आप जब सॉल्व करोगे तब अगर आपको उसका रिलेशन का जो कहीं कहा है कि इसके साथ रिलेशन आप दिखाओ और मेरे के साथ उसका रिलेशनशिप कैसा होता है वो दिखाओ तो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा सबसे लास्ट स्टेप आपको क्या दिखानी पड़ेगी माइनस कांस्टेंट टर्म डिवाइडेड बाय कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ x देन दिस इज द फार्मूला ऑफ लीनियर पॉलीनोमियल then the second formula is quadratic polynomial. जैसे हमने linear polynomial के बारे में देखा, उसी तरह भी हम लोग क्या देखेंगे? Quadratic polynomial and here cubic polynomial. general form of quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here a is not equal to 0 
Then first formula is what? Here in quadratic polynomial maximum two zeros are present. And in cubic three zeros are present. Then here first formula is what? Alpha plus beta equal to minus b bar a. First formula is what? Alpha plus beta equal to minus b bar a. Then you, you will compare to this general form. Then you will get minus. B means what? Coefficient of x. B means what? Coefficient of x. And A means what? Coefficient of x square. A means what? Coefficient of x square. This is the formula alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and you will compare to its general form. Then you will get minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Second formula is alpha beta. This is called the sum of the zeros. This is called the sum of the zeros. Alpha and beta are the zeros. Alpha and beta are the zeros. And this is called the product of the zeros. This is called the product of the zeros. Here alpha and beta are the zeros. Here formula is what? C by A. Here formula is what? C by A. And you will compare to its general form. Then what is C? C is the constant term. C is the constant term. And what is A? A is the coefficient of x square. A is the coefficient of x square. Means in quadratic polynomial there are two formulas are present. One is the sum of the zeros and second is the product of the zeros. Sum of the zeros. Zeros means what? Alpha and beta. Sum means what? You will take an addition. That is alpha plus beta equal to what? Minus b by a. And you will compare to its general form. Then you will get minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Here b is present. Here b is present. Then you will write coefficient of x divided by here a is present. Here a is present. Then you will write here coefficient of x square. Correct. Then, next formula is what? Product of the zero. Product of the zeros means what? Alpha, beta. Product means what? Multiplication. Product means what? Multiplication. Then, alpha, beta equal to what? C by A. Alpha, beta equal to what? C divided by A. C means what? A constant term. C means what? A constant term. And A means what? Coefficient of x square. A means what? Coefficient of x square. Then let's see the cubic polynomial. In cubic polynomial, the general form is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d equal to 0. Here a is not equal to 0. Then again you will write here sum of the zeros. But in cubic polynomial, three zeros are present. In cubic polynomial, how many zeros are present? Three zeros are present. Means they are what? Alpha, beta and gamma. They are what? Alpha, beta and gamma. Then first formula is what? Sum of the zeros. Sum of the zeros. Then alpha plus beta plus gamma. Equal to what? Y minus B by A. This formula and this formula will be same. This formula and this formula will be same. But in quadratic polynomial only two zeros are present. But in quadratic polynomials only two zeros are present. And in cubic polynomial only, only three zeros are present. Three zeros are present, then you will note it, alpha, beta and gamma. And also here sum of the zeros, then you will write alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b divided by a. And you will compare its general form, then you will write its relationship is b means what? b means what? This minus sign will be same. And b means what? 
कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर बी मीन्स वॉट द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वेर एंड दिस ए मीन्स वॉट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यूब कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यूब करेक्ट फॉर्म्यूला इज सेम बट इज रिलेशन इज डिफरेंट अल्फा बीटा प्लस बीटा ग्यामा प्लस ग्यामा अल्फा इट इज ऑल्सो ए सी बाय इट इज ऑल्सो ए सी बाय ए दिस फॉर्म्यूला एंड दिस फॉर्म्यूला विल बी सेम बट इट्स रिलेशन इज डिफरेंट टू कंपेयर इट्स जनरल फॉर्म देन सी मीन्स वॉट इन कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स मीन्स वॉट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय ए मीन्स वॉट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यूब ए मीन्स वॉट कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यूब एंड द थर्ड फॉर्म्यूला इज टेकन हि अल्फा बीटा गैमा मीन्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द जीरो मीन्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द जीरो Here here three zeros are present. Then you will write here alpha, beta, gamma, and its formula is minus d divided by a. Its formula is what? Minus d divided by a. And you will compare to its general form. Then minus sign will be same. D is what? Constant term. Divided by this a means what? Coefficient of x square. This a means what? Coefficient of sorry, a means what? Coefficient of x cube. You will see here, a means what? Coefficient of x cube means in quadratic polynomial, your first formula is alpha plus beta equal to minus d by alpha beta equal to c by and in cubic polynomial, your first formula is alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus b by. Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equal to c by and alpha beta gamma equal to minus d by a. 